So if you are someone who is manually entering your AP invoices using pending vendor invoice, you are going to love this video. This is Microsoft's new invoice capture, and this is a happy path. So this is where our procurement team has um, ordered from our vendor, has received the product in the system, and everything matches from the purchase order um, all the way to the vendor invoice. So what should happen is anytime the approvals have already been done on the procurement side, AP should, shouldn't have any issues with just getting it and getting the invoice entered really fast. Well, guess what? AP doesn't even have to touch anything anymore with this new um, invoice capture process automations that Microsoft has. And let me show you how that works. So before we dive in, the reason why I have this workspace open, this vendor invoice automation, is to show you that I currently have no pending vendor invoices for US1. If I scroll down, I have the invoice capture. There are two captured invoices here. Um, while this is working, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm sorry, while I'm showing you this, I'm going to go ahead and and this is the vendor invoice. So we are going to pretend here that we're the vendor and we're submitting the invoice. So while that's um, processing in the background, this is the Power App here. So you have the received files, which really you'll never as a user have to go there, or the captured files. If the uh, invoice came in twice, the first one will, will be captured. The second one will come in as canceled. It will not allow a duplicate unless you void it. So we can talk more about that example. But notice on my captured invoice. So I have one uh, in our UK legal entity that has no errors. And the reason why it's sitting here is because I simply has have not submitted transfer invoice. Now on the on the next videos, we're going to talk about what to do when you have errors. Um, but for this one, I'm just showing you a happy path. So here, um, it looks like this invoice came in, has one error. It also doesn't have a legal entity um, and it has, um, it has been captured. So if we come here more than likely and we refresh, let's see. We don't have to come here, but I want to make sure that that, yeah, last invoice 24 was already, it might have already transferred over to pending vendor invoices. I would not be surprised if it had. Okay, it has not, but let's refresh this. And now it has. So you can quickly see how fast it transferred over because the system recognized no errors. So next we'll go into pending vendor invoice. I'll just refresh here. And you can see it here in pending vendor invoice. Now I'm going to go in and process our automations because they run on a time schedule. I'm going to run these so that you can see how this works. Now notice there are a few areas on pending vendor invoice that are new. Automated submit to workflow status, automated receipt match status, and then you still have your last match status here. So this automated receipt match status. That is where you, your system is going to automatically match your product receipts. Then once the system matches your product receipts, then it's going to perform the match status, um, all, the, all automated. And then after that, the next time the process automation runs to submit your vendor invoices to workflow, then you'll see this run as well. So I'm going to push all these through in the background. I think the receipt match status is working right now as we speak. Okay, so let's check this out. So now we have our receipt match status. That has automatically happened. Now what needs to happen is our match status needs to be updated. So let's see when that's gonna happen. So that one runs every 10 minutes. Let me push that through. Let 
Now the next automation looks like it um, updated the match status and submitted the um, the invoice to workflow. Now, since this workflow that's submitted, and since this is a procurement PO that has already been approved through our procurement process, the workflow configuration says if it has a PO and it, if it has a past match status, go ahead and approve it and post it. So that's what we're going to see happen and it's gone. Now, if we continue with the process automations, when it's time to make that pay, make a payment for that vendor invoice, we can also set up the, the automation for the vendor payment. So let me quickly show you where that's at. In, a, in AP, under payment setup, you have this process automations. And that, this is really easy to set up. So you create a new process automation and vendor payment proposal, and you can select what company what legal entity, and maybe this is your Friday payment run. And then you set the criteria of how often you want this automation to run. And if I hit next, um, maybe we want it to run at 4 a.m. So that way, by the time you come in at 7 or 8 a.m., now here is where we're going to select the criteria, just like you would set up in your payment proposals is, is the same criteria you would set up here. Here's your records to include. So you can do your method of payment, your specific vendors. Um, you can add as, as many tables uh, as, the same, as your payment proposal um, offers as well. So great automation process. Microsoft's vision is a fully automated uh, process from when the vendor invoice comes in from the vendor all the way to the payment and they have nailed it. Um, again, don't worry there on the next videos I'm going to show you, there's going to be plenty of manual intervention, but yay Microsoft for this automated process when everything matches. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video.